Hello friends, welcome back to iPhone Games. My name is Joseph and today on PlayStation News, Sony's new accessory line gets leaked, rumors pointing out to a new state of play next week, a fan creates the first ever PS5 Slim, Activision cancels a new Tony Hawk remake, and more. Let's get into it. We start with Sony's new accessory line set to be revealed next week, which has leaked from Tom Henderson via Xputer. According to his report, Sony will reveal three new headsets and two new monitors. The first one, Inson H3, will be wired and the cheapest of the line, H7 will be wireless and have the best battery life, and H9, the most expensive, will also have wireless and noise cancelling features. All of them include the spatial audio and are Discord certified. As for the monitors, there will be a 4K model with 144Hz and a full HD one with 240Hz. They include NVIDIA G-Sync, low latency and HDR, plus gaming assist features such as FPS display, black color equalizer and more. They are going to be marketed as perfect for PS5. None of the price points for these accessories were listed, but we should know as soon as next week, with a rumored PS5 Pro controller probably being announced as well. Something to point out here is that these are not PlayStation accessories but Sony Electronics as the Sony logo is featured prominently instead of PlayStation, so the announcement will likely come from their end. Moving on, Gran Turismo creator Kazunori Yamauchi has announced there will be a new update for Gran Turismo 7 next week, adding 3 mystery cars. GT Planet reports this could be the Suzuki Scudo Pikes Peak, a new version of the Suzuki Vision Gran Turismo and a 1932 Ford or Deuce Roadster. Nothing else was hinted, but the update could include your usual new circuits and events, hopefully the option to sell cars as well. Putting two and two together, Industry Insider Tom Henderson said on Twitter that with all this news there's likely to be a new PlayStation instead of play next week. Kasunori Yamauchi announcing a new Gran Turismo update, the Inson accessory line, a new PS5 Pro controller, and the God of War launch date as reported by Bloomberg's Jason Schreier. However, I can dismiss some of these as being hints for a state of play. Cass has teased these Gran Turismo updates for a while and it's not an indication that an event is happening. The Inzone accessories, as I said, is a new gaming line from Sony Electronics and not PlayStation, so it could be announced in a blog post or trailer on their end. The PS5 Pro Controller may be announced in a similar fashion at the PlayStation blog. That leaves the God of War launch date, which is the only one I can dismiss. We'll have to wait and see if a state of play focus on the game happens. And Cory Barlock openly hinting that he's been playing the game is a positive sign, he's also been talking in code. That is not helping. Do you think we'll get a new state of play before the end of the month? Vote in the poll in our community tab. We may not have heard anything from Spider-Man 2 other than it's being made, but it seems Insomniac has been reinforcing their team with new recruits, one of them being Davison Carvalho, who joined recently as an art director. He worked as a concept artist and or graphic designer for several MCU properties including Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Thor Ragnarok, Captain America Civil Wars, Avengers Endgame, Shang-Chi, and he's even worked on some Star Wars projects. He's no stranger to games with grades on Mortal Kombat X, Lone Echo, Fortnite, New World, and more. Spider-Man 2 is still scaled for 2023 and wishing we'll get an update before the end of the year. Polish site XGP via Video Games Chronicle has noticed that PlayStation Plus cards are being discontinued at retailers. Some stores and third-party sellers still have cards, but they're not going to be restocked after they sell out. Sony announced something similar back at the beginning of the year when they were discontinuing PlayStation All cards, and it seems they will only leave PlayStation Store gift cards so you can load your wallet and buy any subscription on your console, website, or mobile app. Netflix has announced that Tom Holland's Uncharted movie will be debuting on the service this July 15th. This happens four months after a theatrical release, where it gathered over 400 million at the box office and a little over a month since its home release. Now we have several fan projects to showcase. First, there's a new God of War PC mode that replaces Kratos and Atreus for Joel and Ellie from The Last of Us. This one is from YouTuber Omega Fantasy, and he also replaced their weapons, the Droggers for Clickers some of the dialogue pieces as well, and the opening fight between Kratos and the Stranger is now Joel vs David. Next, Jack and Daxter is being ported natively to PC by some fans. This is something that has been done with some Nintendo games where instead of using emulation, the code for the original game is being decompiled and recompiled into x86-64 game code. The project is 80% done and they are keeping the core base identical while adding new features like better subtitle controls, 
custom resolutions, camera controls, and more. Last we have the first PS5 Slim by YouTuber DIY Perks. He managed to get all the PS5 capabilities in a 2cm case that is better cooled than the original using a water system besides an external power supply. The project came to an abrupt end after it didn't turn on at first, but after some additional support he managed to get it running. It looks really cool and he managed to beat Sony in the race of launching a Slim console. You can check all of these fan-made projects at the links below. We move into third-party game news where a new rating in Brazil is hinting that Ubisoft Pirate Adventure Skull and Bones may be launching soon on PS5. This follows the PC rating for the game in South Korea last month. There was no mention of PS4 so it could be another one of those games leaving the old hardware behind, but we should know more soon as the game releases in Ubisoft fiscal year 2022 ending March 31st, 2023. Pro skater Tony Hawk ollied into a Twitch interview this Monday where he confirmed the original plans for the remake line of games from Activision. He said the plan up until the release of Tony Hawk 1 plus 2 was to release 3 plus 4 after that, but developer Vicarious Visions was folded into Blizzard. The idea remained and Activision looked for another developer and received several pitches, but then it was over after they didn't trust anyone as much as Vicarious Visions to handle the project. The veteran skater still has some hopes the project can be completed after the dust settles, just like they were able to do 1 plus 2 almost 20 years later. This makes me really sad as those are my favorites from the series on PS1. I understand Activision backing studios that generate a lot of money for them, but wish they would still be committed to games like this. Maybe when Microsoft takes over. Fall Guys is now out as a free-to-play game, plus a new PS5 version should also be available but it's not there as of recording. The game is now cross-play and cross-progression across PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series, Nintendo Switch, and PC. The new free-for-all season includes new games like Hexa Ring, Speed Circuit, Bounce Party, and more. So check that one out. And those are all our stories for today on this episode of PlayStation News. Are you interested in Sony's new headsets or monitors? Do you think there will be a new state of play before June ends? Would you like to see another Tony Hawk remake? Share your thoughts on any of these stories in the comments below, like or dislike to share your feedback, check out other videos you may enjoy while you're here, and consider subscribing for more PlayStation content. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Joseph, this is Hype for Games, and let's get hyped!